Hey, Cooper. With the uh, football playoff poll coming out tonight, is that something you and the guys pay attention to? And bigger picture, um, as a team leader, how do, you guys, how do you handle that to try to keep the guys grounded in, in what's going on right now? Um, I'm sure, you know, people will see it. I mean, we're not blind. You know, we're on social media and stuff, so I'm sure everybody will see it. Um, not something that we look super far into. You know, every week is a, a different season in this league especially. So, um, I don't know. I mean, you can't really think about too far ahead. You know, it's the SEC. So, if you look over anybody, it's, it's going to be a problem. Cooper, it feels like you guys as a group up front have gotten better, you know, each week the last couple of weeks. How much better can you guys play over the course of the next couple of weeks? Uh, a lot better. I mean, there's there's always room for improvement. Um, I mean, there's never going to play perfect, obviously, but um, the intent's got to be there and the intentionality's got to be there. And, you know, it's something that, that has got to happen. If you're going to be a good team, you got to get better every week. So that's our plan. Cooper, can you kind of take us through your view of Dylan's touchdown run where everybody pushed him in and, and kind of what your role was in all of that? Um, and then what did that play just kind of signify for, for him and, and for you guys as an offense and, and, a, and a team? I thought, it, I thought it was a great, you know, I don't even know what to call it. It was just a great situation, you know, um, for us, kind of the way it played out and, and how the result happened with, with getting him the record. And it was a... Uh, really an effort. <clears throat> you always say an effort of 11, but I mean, truly that play was an effort of all 11 people getting involved. Um, super cool, super tired during the play. Didn't didn't really want to run another play, so uh, made sure we got him in the end zone that play. What was it like watching Really cool, because I mean, obviously I was in the middle of it. I didn't get to see the whole picture, but you know, seeing Nico and Brew get in there and, and everybody get in from their routes and you know, just just grit and determination, super cool. Watching Nico get involved on that play, what do you think it says just about who he is as a quarterback, who he is as a football player? I think it just shows, shows, who, it shows who he is as a person, how he was raised. You know, what, what you fall back on is, is what you're, you've been doing your whole life. And, you know, if you, if you care about others more than yourself, it'll show. And I think that was a, a great clip of, of, you know, how he feels about his teammates, how we feel about him and, you know, what he's put into this. Cooper, I'm not sure how much you maybe go against him, but you know, you, you guys on the defensive line have a lot of older guys, but David Hobbs is one of the younger guys that's playing well and, and seems to be making an impact more and more. What have you seen from him on the other side, and, and have you noticed him taking strides? Just growing up, you know, we always see it. You know, young guys are. are or at the end of the day, they're 18 years old. No matter how talented you are and, and you know your athletic ability, it's hard to play on the O line and D line when you're young. So um, seeing a guy like him coming in here really talented and seeing him grow and take steps, it's it's really cool. But he's he's going to be a great player for us and, and already has obviously. Two guys behind you at center, Vizen Lang, William Satterwhite. How have you seen them grow this season? Same kind of thing, you know, kind of what I was saying. Those are both two guys. One's still a freshman, sat still a freshman, but um, Bison's a second-year player. Um, like I said, it's super hard to play, especially O-line. I mean, it's, it's there's a lot of variables in there. So seeing them grow, get stronger, understand the game more, I mean, that's a big thing at center. Um, you know, they've made a lot of strides. So um, excited to see how they grow up. You've been a leader on this team for a couple years now, but how have you seen that leadership style change with now being in your final year, specifically with those centers that are behind you? I think just finding finding your role in every situation with every different person. Um, I mean, you got to have relationships with all your guys if you want to hold them accountable and, and talk about the stuff that you want to hold them up to. So um, really just trying to be a guy that, that spreads love to everybody around him and you know, pick people up a little bit more when they're down and, you know, when, time, when it's time to get after them, then I can do that too as well. So just me getting older and being more comfortable in the role. Cooper, I'm sure you guys as an offense feel like you're, you've, you've been close the last few games. Does it get frustrating to be close multiple games in a row? And, and how is that driving you guys this week to try to put it all together? Yeah, uh, it's, it's frustrating probably in the moment, but I think, you know, it leaves leaves a lot of room for improvement. You know, we got to get, keep getting better as a team and as an offense. And, you know, I think that starts with us out here in practice, clicking on all cylinders and, 
you know, I think we're, we're, we're taking steps each week. It's just got to uh, all come together at the right time. Thank you all.